Let's cut right to it. In the early 2000s, people were flocking to the dot-com ecosystem where they wanted to buy dot-com no domains, and this was their internet profile. We're seeing a similar revolution occur right now with dot ETH names, aka ENS domains. So what are ENS domains and how do you actually get one? We're going to get into all of this, but before we do, make sure to smash the like button and maybe even subscribe to this channel if you're feeling crazy. This is a clip from The New Normal, one of the biggest crypto podcasts in the entire crypto ecosystem. I hope you enjoy. The older you do get, the more rules you're going to try to get you to follow. <laughs> you just got to keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. I'm sold. All right. You've sold me, Jesse. How do I buy it myself? How do I get involved? Yeah, so to buy an ENS um, for yourself, you got to go to ens.domains. That's ens.domains. That's the actual website. Ironically, that you have to go to a website to get <laughs> <laughs> a DNS to get the ENS. But hey, that's that's the world we live in, right? We're not fully in, into this decentralized world yet. Once you're on the website, you connect your MetaMask wallets. So you do. You will need to have MetaMask set up, and you will need to have some ETH in that MetaMask. And then uh, there'll be a nice big search box and you'll be able to search for your name that you want. So hopefully the one you're looking for isn't taken already. Um, if it is, you just have to get a little creative, maybe find a new nickname for yourself. <laughs> and then, yeah, once you find it and it's and it's available, then you ha uh, register it. When you go to register, you have to pick a certain amount of time that you want to register it for. So you can go one year, you can go two years, you can go five years. I think I forget what the max is, but um, I think maybe five years or something like that and uh yeah and then you're paying per year so it's around five dollars per year but denominated in eth uh, and then yeah that's that's pretty much it now you have yourself an ens and then like we talked about the components of it you can go in and actually edit your ens record and add things like your eth address uh, that's the main thing you want to do is just attach your own your main wallet address to it so that people can type that in on OpenSea or they want to send you some ETH because they want to tip you. Maybe you did something cool for them. Yeah, things like that. That's one thing that you see a lot on Twitter. It's like, if you know your ETH address, you're going to make it. And the point being is that nobody knows their actual ETH address. They know their ENS domain. Yeah, and honestly, it could be an edge. Like, what if someone tweets out, like, next five people to drop their ETH address uh, win, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you can have it in top of your head because it's literally your, just your name, you you could... You could be fast as f. Who, who knew that this was going to become an alpha? A little, a little alpha drip at the end, at the end of the episode about you can get you can get first on Twitter giveaways if you get in on an ENS domain. If you made it this far, that means that you enjoyed the clip from the New Normal podcast. That also means that you would enjoy being part of the Incubator Discord community. This is a free community where thousands of people are changing their lives every day as they learn about crypto. So join that, which is linked in the description below, and introduce yourself. I'm looking forward to having a conversation there. Thanks for watching. Well, I got thoughts that circle all around my head, and no one knows I'm thinking. But it doesn't matter, because no one wants to listen. But now I'm talking, I'll be talking till I'm dead.